Odor. Okay. Okay. Odor. See, so, <laughs> we talk about these items. We talk about the banshees, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hood boogers, mm -hmm. the snapping necks. Yes. The I don't need no man telling me what to do. No broke boo, go somewhere over there. Keep on, keep on. And then we think we found one. She's beautiful. She's sexy. Mm -hmm. You know. He's like, yo, Mike, I think I found the one, kid. I think I got the one. And next year, you know, you got that Friday night, you're doing things, you know, you you feeling all you you doing this, you doing the simping, but for a good reason. We all simp. Okay. You know. At one point. Yeah. You know, she get the cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster. There you, you go. You know, endless shrimp. Hey, yo, y'all, y'all sleep on that endless shrimp. All right. That goes hard. So you go home. It's like, yeah. And the next thing you know, something's smelling, but it ain't the garlic shrimp. <laughs> well, it no. is something else. It is something else, Mike. Mike, your expertise now. What's my take on this? Okay, so yes. number one is I think that most men, especially if you've never gone out the country, most of the time is you don't even know what good pussy is. Exactly. That's number one. Number two is you don't even know what, how it's supposed to really smell like. Just think about it, right? You go to somebody, somebody, somebody who lives in a really smelly place. They get used to the stench, so then you kind of look at it as that way. That's what the normal thing is. One thing you have to understand is that you know, let's talk about some of these women. Number one, long nails. More than 30, more than three millimeters of a nail, you have a higher chance of increased bacteria and increased yeast. Mm. So that's one thing you have to look into. Now, if you have the longer nails, if you have fake nails and stuff like that, you have little crevices, micro crevices that people don't even understand that's in there that exists, that holds the bacteria in there. Next thing is, do you think these girls can actually wipe their coochie in their booty correctly? <laughs> so now you have increased amount of bacteria just staying there. Just, that's why that's why they got, you know, if, next thing is, just, just think about it. Like if you go to Asian countries, in Asian countries, they actually really clean themselves up. They have, they have what they call a tabo. They actually have bidets. Like America is the only country that does not have a bidet in their bathrooms. Yes. I will more than guarantee you this. Watch, watch this question. Guys in the chat room. I did this the other day, actually. There's, there's going to be two questions. You're going to answer it with a, yes, a Y and N for yes or no. And then you're going to put a number next to it. Here's the question. How many of you guys right now have a bidet in your house? Put Y <laughs> or N. Right next to that, I want you to answer this. How many people do you know in America or where you live has a bidet in their house? Oh, good question, guys. So, Chats, where y'all at? Right there alone, you're going to know that in average, that's why brown streaking even, look, I'm going to call out the guys as well. That's why brown streaking only exists in America. Okay, so this is where hygiene is such an important thing. You go to the Philippines, you go to Thailand, they got clean asses. They got clean coochies. And then another big famous thing that's being done by women in the United States is douching. You have to understand, like, like nowadays, I think guys should come up with a pH balance strip. And before they get with a girl, they're like, can you rub this in your coochie really fast? I need to know your pH balance or something like that. Mm. Because once that thing goes more acidic, it's just going to be even worse. So this is my thing is that a lot of guys don't understand just the basic hygiene. I, I saw somebody like made a, make a comment earlier, said, go to the woman's bathroom to see what she has. Make sure you see if she has like like a vagisil pH balanced cleanser or something like that because a lot of women don't actually know how to cleanse themselves correctly. So that's why you have some stanky coochie. That's why you do have some, unfortunately, they look really good until you unwrap it and you realize you got some rotten eggs. Oof. Man. Let me go to uh, Aiken. You've been here the longest. Let me get your thoughts on this, man. You've been hanging tight. I appreciate you, man. What you thinking about thank this? Thank you. Year? Thank you. Thank you. So I actually just did a video on my channel about the dating coaches, why they have a problem with passport girls. And okay. a lot of people hit it is, you know, they're scared that, that their money is going to get light because people are going to realize you don't need game to get women in other countries. Um, and what he was saying was actually correct because my parents are Nigerian. I was born here in the US. So I lived there when I was young. I've been all over the world in every other country. When you go to the bathroom, you pull that little thing and you do, you spray it. 
a lot of people don't know what 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 he was talking about but that's what it is you have it it's like a little spray thing that you can spray and you clean up you know the women clean up in the front and back the guys clean up in the back we don't have that in the united states and, we, and a lot of women first of all in the u.s and western worlds women have been told you don't have to compete for men you don't have to work hard to look feminine and when you when you when you keep putting that in a woman's head what happens is women just keeps going out and say you have to accept me the way i am that's why there's overweight people saying you have to accept me i'm big and beautiful no you're not you're not big and beautiful you go to other countries women actually work hard to look decent they come out of the house not with bonnets not with the same yoga pants there's, there's one of my neighbors she was the same she been wearing the same yoga pants for two weeks same exact color same exact I mean, you don't have, you don't have 14, 15 of the same color yoga pants, same yoga pants every day. <laughs> just, I, I'm just like, and guys, and, and, you know, she's going to get attention from guys. So she, she feels she's validated. So, you know, a lot of, a lot, and, and you're right. If you don't leave the United States, you do not know what a real feminine woman is. You don't, you haven't experienced it. You haven't been to, to countries where women to meet you, she's going to have to She's gonna have to present her best self. In the US, women are online telling you how much you have to spend in a day, how much you have to make. None of that exists in other countries. So all of this combined is, is what's, and, and the, 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 the smell. The only time I had that smell was in the US. Actually, the last American girl that I, that I, had, relation, that I had sexual relations with had that smell. And I didn't even, I didn't even, but like, I was just like two, I was just like done. Like as soon as you took, as soon as you took the thong off, it was just, Ooh. And it's, oh. you know, and, oh. and this is a, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful girl, you know? So they feel they don't have to really work hard to, to, to make themselves better. Not just the attitude, not just, not just competing for men, but just the, the hygiene. When a woman doesn't take care of her hygiene, how, how, how can you even be with her on a daily basis? She's not going to clean her house. She probably has medication everywhere because half of them are insane it, it's crazy but a lot of guys that are in the chat a lot of guys watching this video would never experience a beautiful feminine woman because they're never really gonna leave the united states i'm just gonna keep it real if you don't have your passport if you're not saving money investing trying to get out of the u.s you know you're never really gonna experience a real a real feminine woman that'll really really make you feel good and there was a guy in the chat earlier that said Oh, are these, uh, are these guys getting married? A lot of guys don't care. A lot of guys are just going to be treated better. You don't have to get married. You don't, mm -hmm. you can go for whatever reason you want, whatever reason you want to travel for. You want to travel to meet women, you want to travel for the culture. Nobody like, why are you policing what guys are traveling for? Let guys go, let guys experience it. Let guys be treated better. Let guys, you know, increase their buying power with the dollar being strong. Let guys travel. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't mess with American women anymore. I live in Miami Beach. I'm in and out. I travel a lot. Um, I don't mess with American women, so I don't really care. But man, the pH balance, the non-femininity, the attitude, the it, it's everything, combination of everything is just, it's, it's only gonna get worse. And if you don't get your passport, if you don't start traveling, you're screwed in this country. Aiken, before I get to Dr. Mike, you made you made a point here from the beginning of your, of your, uh, your point here, when you said that that woman wears the same yoga pants 15 days in a row every single day if she's wearing the same yoga how tight those pants are and if, and if she if we know that she ain't watching those pants all the time that is bad enough you're gonna have she probably has an old door you got the extra old door just being packed in there and it's being vacuum sealed shut and snapped tight so by the time you unpack that when it comes to the get down her stuff is probably even worse box than anybody else. Because if you weren't the and same a joint girl. for two weeks. Uh, this is a cute girl. This is a really cute, beautiful, cute girl. That's a damn she, shame. I, I have to point that out. To work. Ooh. Dr. Mike, I got to hear your thoughts, man. I checked out. Mike sent me some videos of yours, man. I saw the interview we had with O'Shea back eight, nine, nine months ago. I know yeah. how you, I, I know how you feel, but I need the chat know, the chat needs to know your viewpoint now. 
All right. Um, do you mind if I just do a quick background on myself since I'm new go to the right channel? It. Just tell me. Go a right bit. ahead. All yeah, right. go right ahead, bro. All right. All right, guys. So uh, my name is uh, Dr. Mike. Um, Dr. Mike TV is my channel. I started my channel about five years ago, basically because I had just moved back from the Philippines after staying there for 10 years. So I kind of created my channel just kind of as an homage to my experiences. And that's kind of how my channel started. Recently, we changed up the content a little bit, but that's basically where I started from. So basically, I was a military kid. So I bounced around a lot as a kid and ended up getting an opportunity to study abroad in the Philippines. That's where I stayed for 10 years. And the reason they do call me Dr. Mike is I did earn my doctorate degree while I was there. So that's kind of how I got my name and everything like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much a little bit about my background. But if there's one person that knows about pH balances, I'm going to have to take Nick Cannon at his word. Yeah, because as many kids as that brother has, and as many attempts as that brother has had to have kids, come on now. If anybody... <laughs> Yo, if anybody's going to know, it's going to be Nick Cannon. That's that's just my thoughts on it as well. Um, but in reference to dating coaches and things like that, um, there's one thing I want to focus on. And again, it's the fact that you don't necessarily need a lot of the techniques that they try to utilize or tell men that they have to use in order to get women. One in particular is the idea of the waiting game, right? When usually you get a young lady's number, at least in the United States, they'll tell you, don't text them right away. You know, give it like three or four days, wait before you have a conversation. When you're dating women abroad, if you do take that time to wait and utilize that technique, that girl's gonna think, oh, well, he's probably talking to a million women anyway, so he's really not interested in me. Even if you might actually be interested in a young lady. So it's more or less, you don't necessarily have to play the same games with women abroad as you would dealing with Western women. So kind of focusing on that aspect, that's one of the techniques that I've seen a lot of people talk about in the past as far as dating coaches are concerned, that's really not necessary when you deal with women abroad, right? And Mike, Mike can attest to this, attest to this. my man King can probably attest to this as well. Um, the sooner the better. I mean, if you get a girl's number that day, who knows what could be happening that night? You know, the sky's the limit, you know, depending on how well you talk, right? So it's more or less about charisma, personality, as opposed to playing the games and stuff, at least from what I've experienced living in, you know, countries abroad and stuff like that. So maybe guys me, have seen it different, but go ahead, go ahead. Let me ask this question since you said that, Dr. Mike. The mm -hmm. point about game, and I want to get everybody else's uh, perspective after uh, you answer. You literally said mm -hmm. that. You can get a, a woman's number, and if you don't procrastinate, you ain't playing these American games, mm -hmm. you reach out right away, you could get mm -hmm. into something or at least have a good experience. It doesn't have to be sex, but something could be legit by the end of the night, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So the mentality you're speaking of, and I guess from experience, is that if you get that girl's number, she is interested in you, and it's up to you to act and not to be slow. Is that basically what you're saying here at this moment here? Not to go ahead and do the two or three yeah. weeks and... Mm -mm. Not necessarily, boss. You ain't got to worry about taking all of that time to talk to a young lady or trying to play the game to make sure she's interested in you. You don't have to. If you choose to, I can't tell a man what to do. But I'm just basically, from personal experiences, it doesn't necessarily take that long for you to, you know, pretty much either consummate the relationship or at least see if it's going the direction that you wanted to. And if it's not, I've learned that, you know, you're wasting all these time playing games with one young lady and, you know, you could have been interacting with and or entertaining, you know, somebody else rather than waiting the two or three days that you could have used to actually get to know her, you know, have conversations with her. You know, Mike's, I know Mike's very fond of coffee shops, I think, every now and again. Something something quick to get to have a conversation with him, sit yeah. down and talk. You know, and, and again, guys, you know, when you're dating abroad, it's not going to cost you an arm, a leg, a foot, and half a testicle like it would in the United States, man. We can go on quick dates, man. It might cost you five, ten bucks. And if it doesn't go your way, so what did you really lose, right? You didn't really lose a lot. So I'm just saying that with that particular technique, just as an example, it's not necessarily something that's neat, right? When you're dealing with uh, foreign women, at least from my own personal experiences. Interesting. Let me go to Aiken now. Your viewpoints on this. I don't think I... <laughs> Thank you.